Welcome to an Converting a star network consisting of one ohm resistance to delta network. For converting it to a delta network, the resistance must be multiplied by 3. That is, the delta resistive value must be 3. Now, coming to this question, instead of this one ohm resistance, if it is an inductance of 1 Henry, then the converted delta network must also consist of inductance of 3 Henry. Right? But in the question, it is mentioned as capacitor. So, for the capacitance case, it is just inverse. Suppose if the value of the capacitance is 3, the delta connected capacitance value must be 1. Right? So, we are applying this principle to this problem. So, I am changing the star connected capacitance of value C to C by 3 in the figure. Right? So, now the figure will be this way around. That is resistance of value r in parallel with the c by 3. The same case must be in the all the three arms. So I am plotting it in this side. So the figure changes it in this way. That is r parallel with the c by 3. Again r parallel with another c by 3. So again r parallel with another c by 3. So first of all we have to calculate what is this r parallel with the 1 c by 3. So we are calculating r parallel with the impedance of the capacitance. That is r parallel with the xc right xc equal to here 1 by s c by 3 right as the capacitance value is divided by 3 so r parallel with 1 by s c by 3 right that is again r parallel with 3 by s right so taking the parallel combination 3 r by s c divided by s c r plus 3 by s c cancelling this S3. So, we obtain 3R divided by 3 plus SCR. Right? So, this is basically the impedance of this R parallel C by 3 or R parallel with 1 by SC by 3. Now, checking at this side, 1 R parallel C by 3 is series with another R parallel C by 3. So, for this side, for these two elements, the total 
impedance must be 6R that is 3R by 3 plus SCR plus again that 3R by 3 plus SCR. So the total combination of these two elements must be 6R by 3 plus SCR right and uh, this element turns out to be R parallel C by 3 turns out to be 3R by 3 plus SCR. We have to calculate the current, right? Current is voltage by resistance or voltage by impedance. So, uh, we have to first of all calculate the total impedance. So, total impedance must be this one 3R, right? 3R by 3 plus SCR. 3 plus SCR, that is uh, this element, right? In parallel with the summation of these two elements, that is 6R divided by 3 plus SCR. So, simplifying it, 6 into 3, 18 R square divided by 3 plus SCR the whole square, right? X1, X2 by X1 plus X2. So, in the denominator side, it is 9 R divided by 3 plus SCR. We can cancel 1 3 plus SCR with 3 plus SCR. So, it is 18 R square divided by 3 plus SCR into 1 by 9 R. So, simplifying this R and this R cancelled 18 by 9 is 2. So, 2 R divided by 3 plus SCR. Right? That is the total impedance. Now, I am rubbing all the other things except this thing. We have to calculate the current. So, we have to calculate it in in terms of frequency domain that is i of s equal to v of s by z of s and uh, z of s actually we have calculated now we have to check what is this v of s for that v of s it is given as v of t equal to 2 sin 1000 t so converting to frequency domain it is 2 into sin omega t laplace transform is omega by s square plus omega square so 2 into 1000 divided by s square plus 1000 square right that is v of s so Substituting here, I of s equal to, now V of s equal to 2 into 1000 divided by S square plus 1000 square into, right, I of s equal to V of s by Z of s, so into 3 plus SCR by 2R, right, and then 1, 2, another 2 cancel. Now, we can substitute the values, right, so first of all, R equal to 1 kilo ohm, right? R equal to 1 kilo ohm and C equal to 1 microfarad. R equal to 1 kilo means we can cancel this R and this uh, 1000 and now we can check what is this CR, right? CR equal to C is 1, 10 raised to minus 6 and R equal to 1 kilo ohm. So 10 raised to 3 and the answer turns out to be 10 raised to minus 3. So I of s equal to 3 plus 10 raised to minus 3 s yes, divided by s square plus 1000 square. Now we can actually take the inverse Laplace transform. So we obtain I of t equal to, first I am checking this term, right, s square plus 1000 square, right, 3 by s square plus 1000 square. So for that 3, we know omega by s square plus omega square is inverse Laplace transform is sin omega t. For that I have to uh, I have to put 1000 here, right? 1000 divided by s square plus 1000 square. As I have put 1000, we have to divide it by 1000, right? Next, for the next term, the next term is this thing, 10 raised to minus 3s divided by s square plus 1000 square. So for that term, we know the Laplace transform of cos omega t equal to s by s square plus omega square. So here 10 raised to minus 3 s by s square plus omega square. So uh, that turns out to be cos 1000 t. So and again taking inverse Laplace transform at this side we obtain this as 3 milliampere right 3 milliampere into this is sine 1000 t plus again another milliampere, 1 milliampere into cos 1000 t. So the final answer is 3 sine 1000 t plus cos 
thousand and the answer is answer is in milliamperes moving to the next question the rc circuit shown below has a variable resistance r of t given by the following expression so r of t is varying with respect to time as r of t equal to r not into 1 minus small t by capital t for zero less than or equal to t less than capital t where r not equal to 1 ohm and c equal to 1 farad it's also given that t equal to 3 r not c and the source voltage is vs equal to 1 volt if the current at a time t equal to 0 is 1 ampere then we have to find the current i of t in ampere at time t equal to t by 2 e so coming to the solution part we cannot write the standard charging discharging expression of capacitor that is v of t equal to v final minus v final minus v initial e raised to minus a t here as the value of the resistance is varying with respect to time we cannot directly apply it to this expression as a equal to 1 by r c and r is actually varying thing for this expression r must be constant so we cannot directly use this expression Similarly, by converting it to frequency domain, again it tends out to be a tedious job. So, we have to work using time domain approach, right? For that, I am writing the given values, that is R0 equal to 1 ohm, C equal to 1 farad, and T equal to 3 R0 C. So, T tends out to be R0 equal to 1 ohm, C equal to 1 farad, so T equal to 3, that is given. And then the source voltage Vs equal to 1 volt. Again, if the current at it, T equal to 0 is 1 ampere. So, it is I0 equal to 1 ampere. We have to current calculate at T equal to T by 2. So, we have to calculate at I 1.5 time. Right? That is, we have to calculate. Now, going to the solution part. R of T equal to R0 into 1 minus t by capital T. So, here R not equal to 1 ohm. So, I am writing it as 1 minus t by capital T. Right. So, we have to first of all, we have to uh, calculate the derivative of this R of t as it is varying with respect to 10 d by dt of R of t equal to derivative of constant 1 is 0. So, it is minus 1 by capital T, but again capital T equal to 3, so it is minus 1 by 3. I am marking it as first expression. Now, we can write the loop equation of this circuit. So, V of S equal to I of T into R of T plus 1 by C integral I of T dt. Now, we can take derivative. Uh, derivative of constant V of S actually is equal to 1 volt. So, derivative of constant is 0. 0 equal to d by dt of I of t into R of t plus I of t by C. Derivative of I of t into R of t. So, R of t into d by dt of I of t plus I of t into d by dt of r of t plus i of t right as c equal to 1 farad i am marking it as i of t now substituting for r of t r of t is r of t equal to 1 minus t by capital t so that is 1 minus t by capital t into d by dt of i of t plus i of t into d by dt of r of t. That is, we have calculated and marked it as expression number 1. So, it is minus 1 by 3. It is actually i of t. Right? Okay. Then, plus i of t, right, i of t equal to 0. But, capital T equal to 3, right? So, we can mark it as 3 minus 1 minus t by 3. So, it is 3 minus t by 3 into d by dt of i of t plus i of t into 1 minus 1 by 3, that is 2 by 3 equal to 0. Now, we can cancel this 3 and this 3 and uh, reverting the sign. 
so we obtain t minus 3 right t minus 3 d by dt of i of t equal to 2 i of t right equal to 2 i of t because it is minus 2 i of t going to right hand side it is 2 i of t now we can separate it as 2 into right 2 into dt cross multiplying 2 into dt by t minus 3 right 2 into dt divided by t minus 3 equal to d i of t right d i of t by i of t now integrating it uh, that is 2 into integral dt by t is natural logarithm of t so here integral dt by t minus 3 is 2 into natural logarithm of t minus 3 plus a constant so i am marking the constant as 2 into natural logarithm of c right equal to again natural logarithm of i of t right natural logarithm of i of t so in this side i, I can simplify it as 2 into natural logarithm of t minus 3 into c right equal to natural logarithm of i of t so at this side we can again mark it as natural logarithm of c into t minus 3 the whole square equal to natural logarithm of i of t now we can take anti logarithm at both sides so c into t minus 3 the whole square equal to i of t uh, we have to calculate the constant c for that it is given as i of 0 equal to 1 ampere so i am substituting t equal to 0 that is i of 0 equal to 1 ampere equal to c into minus 3 the whole square so we obtain c equal to 1 by 9 substituting it i of t equal to 1 by 9 into t minus 3 the whole square and uh, we have to calculate it as t equal to t by 2 the, so we have to calculate this at t equal to 1.5 so i of t i of 1.5 equal to 1 by 9 into 1.5 minus 3 the whole square that is 1 point 1.5 minus 3 is 1.5 that is 1 by 9 into 1.5 1.5 square so that is 3 by 2 the whole square so 9 by 9 into 4 so again cancelling 9 and 9 and we obtain 1 by 4 1 by 4 equal to 0.25 ampers so the answer is 0.25 ampers so for more tutorials on gate portions from electronics and communication and electrical related topics subscribe my channel so i am signing out till we meet again with an another gate paper so okay thank you